What's up, squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Let me just get my things out of the way first and then I'm gonna get into the topic. First thing is that these hats do go on sale on Saturday at 10 a.m. So make sure you set an alarm for that time. They are limited to 25 hats, so make sure you get them before they go. Second thing is I am doing a Yeezy giveaway. If you do wanna go ahead and join that, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below next to Yeezy giveaway. Anyways, putting that aside, let's have a second and talk about LeVar Ball. Not even the Ball family, just LeVar Ball. Ugh, I don't even know where to start with this, man. I guess let's just go in order. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it more on the sneaker related side on like, the business and sneaker and basically just the sneaker side. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit about him and if you guys wanna go ahead and go in the comments and blow me up and you can say your opinions too, this is just my opinion. You guys can go ahead and say whatever you want. Go ahead and hate on me in this video because this is more of a discussion, like I said, discussion is discussion. I will take whatever you guys say. If you guys support him, go ahead. I don't, I personally don't support him, which I will get into why I don't throughout this video. First of all, this man wanted his son to have a billion dollar sneaker deal collaborating with his brand basically. And I don't think Nike's ever done that. Like Nike just makes their shoes and they will put your name on it, but they're not gonna throw another brand on there unless they do a collab, and those collabs are pretty damn rare. Not only that, but his son hasn't even dribbled a basketball on an NBA court. Like, what makes him think he's gonna get a billion dollar deal? I obviously don't like his father. His father's just a big, just some word that can't even say on this channel. I'm gonna keep it as PG as I can, so he's just so rude to people and just rude overall. He's cocky, like, co that's not gonna get you nowhere. And that's mainly the reason why Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour basically denied him, because he swears he's bigger than he is. Ben Simmons was also a freshman, and he got drafted out of college after his freshman year. And he got a $20 million deal for five years, and that's $4 million a year, which, that's millions. Of one million, you're good for, you can be good for life. This man got 20 million over a span of five years, and Lonzo Ball was so greedy that he wanted a billion. That's a thousand millions. That's insane. The only other person that I know that got that was LeBron James and he got a lifetime billion dollar deal. Until he's at least 64 years old, he will get a billion dollars. I don't know how much that adds up between every year, but that's still like he's set to have a billion dollars by the time he's 64, which is ridiculous. That's crazy. I don't know how long LeVar Ball wanted Lonzo to have it, but I'm pretty sure it would have been a lifetime deal as well. He's proven nothing to himself except be good in college. That just shows nothing. Well, after the Ball family got denied for getting a billion dollar deal from any sneaker company, they decided to make their own sneaker, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know all this already. And they wanted to charge $495 for a sneaker that looks like a Kobe. Honestly, apparently he's been working on it since he's almost born, but they have like a Kobe look to it and then they have something that looks like Boost on it as well. <sighs> Man, this guy's, this family, not this family, I'm just gonna say this guy. LeVar Ball overall is the only person I can speak of because he's the one that shows himself in the media the most and he just makes a bad rep. It, it, it just, it's so bad for the family. Like, I want to respect Lonzo Ball for his game because he is a good player, I'm not going to lie. But it just makes, the father makes it so hard to like the family overall. Like, his kids are good at basketball. For the most part, I know the youngest one dropped like 92 points in a game, which, I mean, 92 points in any basketball game is just ridiculous. I, I don't know, they probably just gave him the ball the whole time. I don't really know the whole story on that, but that's that's a lot in one game. That's crazy. Especially a high school game where they're shorter than NBA games. And then you have the middle one, the one that's going to UCLA right now, which I don't really watch his gameplay, but I know Alonzo Ball, I watched him play, and he's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But as far as his dad goes, he just, I feel like he's gonna ruin everything. He already ruined his son's chances of having millions right now, unless he gets signed, which he's gonna, I don't know how much the signing deal is for being the second pick, if he gets the second pick, because he could even be first, which would be funny because Lonzo or LeVar really wants him to go to LA, or I think they all want him to go to the Lakers. Or if he's not even picked at all, I mean, that'd be, if he doesn't get picked at all, that just shows how bad the father was for the family overall. So going back to the $495 sneaker, there is not a single sneaker that I know of that retails that high. The only sneaker I know that retails higher than that, it's from Nike, and the shoe laces by itself. And they worked on that shoe for, I think, over 10 years. I'm sure they already have sales because there's, they are people, there are people that support them, and they will buy the sneakers. And I'm sure there's other YouTubers that will probably buy them to review them, which I mean, I understand those sales, but overall, I don't think these shoes would ever sell like LeBron's, Curry's, or James Harden's. And I just named those three because they're one from each brand. And right now, the market for the basketball sneakers are low, so I don't know what this man thinks selling a shoe at $500 is gonna do. And on top of that, his son isn't even professional yet, and he wants to sell a signed shoe with the case and everything for, I think, what, $1,000? And that's ridiculous. Like, maybe if he was in the NBA, yeah, you could've waited until he actually signed, then probably sold the shoe for that much, because, I mean, eventually, he could be, he has the potential to be, like, a great player, but, there's no point of selling a shoe at $1,000 when he hasn't even signed a single contract yet. I know I keep getting a little bit off topic, but going back to the sneaker, 
the only Jordan or basketball sneaker that's actually retailed anywhere close to 500 are the premium Jordans, which are, they all, I think, retail at $400. I think the 11s, the fives, the fours, and as far as I know, I think there's like one more around there. I don't know which number it was. That's crazy how he's gonna price his shoes so high. I don't even know how he's gonna get sales. Apparently he's already had 400 to 500. That's what he says, but there's no proof of that. Last but not least, moving on to the last event that I know of is what happened today. Instead of now having a billion dollar deal from either one of those three major companies, he now wants a $3 billion deal. Do you know, three billion. This man wants a $3 billion, that's more than LeBron. And apparently his son is better then Curry and all these other players, I, I forgot, I think Russell Westbrook, uh, LeBron too, I don't know. I just know he thinks his son is better than NBA players, which that, no, no, I'm sorry. This man is crazy. Oh my God, on top of that, this man wants to say that he's better than Michael Jordan when he averaged 2.2 games in college. He's never had seen a single day in the pros. Like I said, this man is just overall crazy. He's super disrespectful, like, I honestly, I can't stand this man. Like, I don't know how anybody can support him. Like, y'all think it's funny and stuff when he's rude and stuff? Like, that's not right. That's not how you're supposed to treat people, especially what happened today. But come on, bro, there's no need to be that disrespectful. I mean, if you're getting disrespected, that's your own fault because you put your, you gave yourself that bad reputation. I'm sorry, but if people talk bad about LeVar Ball, it's his own fault. As far as Lonzo goes, I hope this man does good in the NBA. He is a great player. Go ahead and do your thing. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this Ball family, man. I don't know. I'm just done talking about them. I just need to get this off my chest because it was right here. I could not hold on any longer. So if you guys want to go ahead and leave your comments down below, do whatever you got to do. If you guys enjoyed the video and agree with what I said, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I'm exhausted of just talking about this. Well, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I can give you guys the Yeezys. But before I go, I do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day. Today's fan of the day is Hype Dragon. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker signed out. Peace.